Now that the tape is up and dry, we need to coat it. The tape was used to strengthen three distinctly different types of joints. First, bevel joints. These joints are created when two bevel edges of the drywall board are butted together, thus creating a recess for the tape and the compound. Second, butt joints. Butt joints are any flat joints that do not benefit from the recess effect of the bevel joint. Third, inside corner or angle joints. Each of these three types of joints is coated differently. Let's start with butt joints. Because butt joints don't benefit from the bevel, the tape is actually sitting on top of the board, thus creating a bump. We can't remove that bump. What we have to do is trick the eye into not seeing it. And the way to do that is to feather out compound far enough on either side so that there's a gradual slope up to the high point. This will cause the once obvious bump to seemingly disappear. First, apply compound directly over the tape of the butt joint with your 12 inch knife. Make sure to hide the tape with a small amount of compound that is the same thickness the whole length of the joint. Be careful not to expose the tape. Next, apply another coat on either side, overlapping approximately two inches. Try to maintain the same thickness of compound for each. Begin to feather either side by forcing the compound toward the center. Remove any excess compound in the process. Now, run your knife flatly and firmly, evening out the center. Not following this step closely will result in removing too much compound and thus exposing the tape. Repeat this for either side. Once you get comfortable coating butt joints, you'll find coating bevel joints easy. Apply an even coat over top of the tape on your bevel joint. Feather on either side, forcing the compound inward and removing the excess. Then, flatten the center again. Now we need to coat our angle tapes. Angle tapes should be coated by coating one side, letting it dry before coating the other side. Using a four inch knife, Apply a coat over one side of the angle tape. Keep the thickness of this coat consistent. Next, even it out. Then feather the edge by forcing the compound inward and thus removing excess compound at the same time. Then flatten it out. The purpose of the coating stage is twofold. First of all, you have to hide your tape. And second of all, as you're coating your joint, you want to make the wall appear flat. If you don't accomplish both of these things in the coating stage, you'll have to do another coat afterwards to accomplish it. So, if you notice, for example, that you've bared some tape, fix it right away. Don't leave it. Before moving on to the next stage, you need to do two more things. First, give a second coat to your fasteners, doing so in exactly the same manner as you did the first time. And second, you need to coat your corner beads a second time. You will do this in exactly the same manner as you did the first time. But first, give it a quick sand to knock down any rough spots or ridges.